Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISTQB test automation engineer certification where we are done with all the tutorials of the chapter 6 which is test automation reporting and matrices and shall be looking forward to discuss on the sample questions right from this particular chapter to understand what best we can handle during the examination. Well, to get started with the very first question we have for you to discuss from the chapter 6 is right here. The chapter 6, the very first question says, as a test automation engineer, you are linked or you're tasked with the demonstrating to management whether the test success rate is improving over a series of test runs. What is the right approach to fulfill this requirement? The most important thing to take away from this particular question is number one, that you're talking about the series of the test runs. And of course, you're talking about reporting so we should understand the needs of the stakeholder and understand what kind of matrices can be included. So it's always a very common approach that should recall what you know about these two topics. One that is reporting and second important thing is the series of test runs, which means simply that uh, it's more of like a trend that what happened in multiple iterations of the executions. So let's quickly check the options out and option A here says the compare the test results with the expected result. Comparing the results would only result me to have a definition to what is pass and fail, which is more of like comparing expected and actual result. At the end of the day, all I get is the result of the test, but not the series of result. So we must correlate every single option when we concluded that what do we understand from this option and then see back in the question that is that what was expected to be asked. And that's exactly what we are looking forward to understand when we read these options. The next we have is option B. Option B says uh, use traffic light indicators to show test execution progress. The traffic light are only for showing the summary of the progress of the test case execution and uh, to certain extent completion within one test run cycle only, but not about the series of cycles. However, these color indicators are more to reflect that what is critical, what is amber, what is green to bring the attention of the people, but uh, not something which would talk about the multiple runs. However, we do have two more options. Option C here says that uh, detailed test report with percentage of test completion. Now, again, this is very interesting report to be included, but not with the perspective of the question. Detailed reports with percentage of the test completions are generally only for showing the outcomes of the test cases execution and completion with one test run cycle only, but not the series of runs. So mind the words that it is very important for us to correlate back it to the question. If in case we are not able to do that, that is where we generally go wrong. And finally, moving to the option D, option D says here that implement an analysis feature that compares previous test results and highlights the trend. And I think that pretty much makes a lot of sense because this is what we have been looking for. And indeed, uh, this is where by the analysis feature is able to compare the pass rate of previous test run cycles and compare with the latest and plot a trend graph which would be meaningful to the audience or stakeholders who are interested to see that. So that is where it makes a complete sense and approach of understanding how we can come to the conclusion to a particular right answer. So the right answer for this particular question is D that is implement an analysis feature that compares previous test results and highlights the trends which would fulfill the need of the question that is to reflect the report in a series of runs. So that's pretty much how exactly we can come to the conclusion. But the most important thing is to stick to the approach of solving it out. Let's move on to the next question. The question number two here says that we are talking about during the design phase of a performance critical software product, management decides to create a task to do load testing on the software to measure its performance. The product contains different architectural components, including browser-based front-end, microservices implemented in the back-end, and a relational database. It is important to measure all individual transactions in the entire architectural stack. So this includes pretty much all the information what we need. Uh, we are talking about a performance-related task solution, and then we will have a back-end uh, of the microservices, and then uh, relational databases. Also, it is important to understand that this will be a complete pack of individual transaction in the entire architecture stack. So how can you automatically provide the information, this information from 
the test automation software. Indeed, I think uh, this makes uh, complete clarity that we have discussed about how exactly the task communicates to that of the SUT and then generates the required log, which would result into the presentation of the result. So these scenarios may only may say, may say, uh, may say uh, kind of make sense at any point of time with given set of options. So we should start reading the options and then correlate correlatively pick the information from the questions once again and see that how relevant the answers are. Let's start with the option A. Option A says here that you cannot because this information has to be gathered manually at the end of every transaction. However, that is not true. Manual data collection is too time consuming and can be error prone as well where automation is essential. In fact, in the syllabus, we have already covered that or uh, there is a possibility of doing automation for collecting the data from the executions by doing the logging, right? So we do have task logging and we do have additionally the SUT logging possible. Let's look at the option B. Option B says uh, the test automation engineer can record the timing information during the execution of all the transaction. Again, this does not explain how the data can be correlated across different components, which indeed can be a good statement to understand, but does not solve my purpose that how exactly will I do that. If I go to option C here, option C says trace IDs should be populated across the software components and measured time values should be associated with these IDs to correlate the performance data. Indeed, makes a lot of sense because trace ID is the most appropriate way to associate the performance data across the different architectural components enabling system-wide performance analysis, allowing you to compare this information with variety of components which your task has, and then we may easily correlate that what was the activity happening and what was the performance failure or at what point the performance failure happened. So I can easily relate to that of the event happening at that particular trace ID, and it would be easy for me to conclude that how exactly I can improve that particular event so that the performance can be increased. However, I'm just taking that example when I'm saying performance increment or other things because uh, it's more about understanding the relationship and correlation what we are talking about. But it can be an example of understanding where failures happen or the performance degraded or maybe the response time increased or many other factors like that. So I just took an example that it is helpful in identifying where the performance degrades, but it can be anything else as well, right? Let's go to option D. Option D here says that uh, Third-party tools should be inserted into the different layers of the architecture and these agents should log the collected data into a database. Don't forget, the question is about how can you automatically provide this information from the test automation software and the information clearly says it is important to measure all individual transactions in the entire architecture stack. So, of course, the third-party tools can collect the data but don't provide the necessary correlations or complete analysis. And in that regards, the C plays a major vital process role that is trace IDs would be more significant enough compared to the other solutions provided to us. And with that, we can easily conclude the right answer to this particular question is C, that is trace ID should be populated across the software components and uh, measured time values should be associated with these IDs to correlate the performance data which would solve my purpose to report the same. So that's all from this particular tutorial team. Should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'm always there to address your queries and answer them well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.